Hello everybody and welcome, or welcome back to some Risk of Rain 2 modded for the Seekers of the Storm DLC. We're jumping in for some more Eclipse mode, but this time as one of the other new characters, the False Sun, who is based off of the new boss, a pretty goddamn cool character. Uh, we're going to jump in as them and see what we can do. We've got some pretty interesting abilities here. Uh, it seems like basically we have these shards here that we can hold up to six of, um, and they will also give us different attack speeds or armor buffs or movement speed buffs and health regen based on how many of them we have. And then we have this club here as well as this massive laser burst. It sounds really cool. Let's jump in and give it a go. If you guys didn't see the first episode of the series for this new DLC, then please go and check it out because I kind of explain uh, Eclipse mode and some of the mods that we're using. But I haven't played a melee character in quite some time here. Oh, that charge up's pretty decent. Wait, so is that just a click and then a charge up? Let's have a look, see. That's just a, a click and then they've got a shard in them. And we can keep attacking like that here. Oh, and then we've got, like, these little abilities here. I think this is the amount of shards that we have available right now. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So good to know. Good to know. Uh, and then our up arrow ability. Okay, that's our dash. And then our ability. Oh, damn. Okay, that just insta-killed that guy. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Big chest here. We've got one of these new stages as our first area here as well, which is pretty nice. Let's take a little look at this guy, shall we? Let's take a little look at him. We do have a flip stage here, so I've got inverted controls. This guy looks pretty meaty. My goodness. Look at him. I, I really like the detail on the, the new character models. They look really, really good. So, Mouse 2 is going to be kind of our ranged attack. We don't really want to be spamming it too much, but we do gain some health regen if we do, so that's not a bad thing. But I haven't really played a melee character in quite some time, so you're going to have to forgive me if I, uh, I'm not great with them. Now, I do want to try charging up my R ability, because I'm pretty sure I can charge it. And then I also want to try dashing into an enemy. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. So, with my ability here, we got we got a little bison over there. Can potentially get him. What item are we going to get, though? Ooh, a red right off the bat. Interesting. Well, let's see what this does. Standing still reduces all damage and knockback you take by up to 50%. Moving increases your move and attack speed by up to 50%. Each ramps over 5 seconds while the other loses effects 200% as fast. Pretty interesting. So, when we're moving, we gain move speed and attack speed. When we're standing still, we gain defense. That's pretty good. Move speed and attack speed is something I can get behind. Ooh, that feels very nice with attack speed. That does. So, let's, let's overkill the hell out of this guy and try and charge this up. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. I like it. This feels meaty. Feels really meaty. I'm a little worried when we're playing Eclipse as a melee character. I've not done that before and I don't know how that's going to go. So it seems like our right click ability is just kind of like a little bit of extra range. But mainly we're going to end up using it just to expel them so we can get the extra um, health regen. And I think it's attack speed was the other thing we get out of it, wasn't it? Ah, oh, that dash is real nice, too. We'll take the mocker here. I feel so, like, menacing. I feel so huge. Oh, but this, this legendary we got there. Very, very good to get a legendary this early. And it seems to be a pretty goddamn good one. Quite a significant attack boost, which I very much like. A void cradle over there. Let's go and grab that. So then if I do this, that'll up my health regen quite a bit. Oh, and I got Wongus as well. Yes, Wongus is so good. While we're moving, we get more health regen. So I want to be I want to be throwing these out to up my health regen, which is pretty awesome that I can do that. Delicate Watch is not very good for us. I'm going to scrap that immediately. That's not really a melee character friendly uh, item, I wouldn't say. So let's just scrap that immediately. I can charge that up as well to fire multiple at once. That's good to know. A Luna Coin, thank you. We'll go up here. Oh, dude, that dash feels so satisfying. This character feels good, man. Boom. That does so much damage. Oh my god. I'm, I'm really curious to see how that's like on bosses, to be honest. Another big chest here. Getting lucky with the big chest. Another red electric boomerang. This is one from the DLC, actually. Uh, let's have a little look see what that does. 15% chance on hit to fire a stunning electric boomerang for extra damage. Also deals 42% uh, damage per second while in flight. Can strike enemies on the way back. Both seem pretty goddamn good to me. Does feel like that needs a sound effect attached to it, though, I will say. But so far, I really enjoy melee characters like Loda, and I'm liking this a lot. Oh, 
Ooh, whoa, 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 what have I done here? What the hell's that? So if I... If I'm holding attack and then right click, I get a different attack. I get a new attack. And does that expend, um... That doesn't expend any of these, so can I, can I do that while I'm holding none? I can. Oh man, that feels good. <laughs> oh my god. Helsian Shrine here. Uh, I'll take it. Why not? Charge this up. Oh my god, I love it. Right, is this piercing? It is piercing. Okay, this is getting to be pretty amazing. I already love this. Okay, this this whole charge ability here with a slam. Oh my god, I'm going to use that so much. That feels amazing. Right, where are you, enemies? Is there any more going to spawn? Interesting. I swear more are meant to spawn here, right? Ah, oh, there you go. Hoo yo! And then we do this, charge this up. I kind of missed with that there. This slam attack is so good. I, I can't believe I didn't know about that. Look at that damage. This guy's amazing. He has good health regen as well, which I'm really liking. It does good AoE too. It's just like such a good opener onto an enemy. Like this little fella here. Get wrecked. Let's pray to the shrine. There's the boss. Oh well, I don't say boss, but champion guy. Oh, this is... I like... Okay, this might be my favourite character of the DLC so far. I haven't played Chef yet, though. Or at least I haven't... I've played him a little bit, but I haven't played him enough to know him well enough. We did get our little item chooser here thing. I like that. Oh, this feels satisfying. I mean, the, the attack speed is really helping this to feel good. Oh, that's really nice as well. Take that, thank you. The frenzy for even more attack speed. Right. Teleport's just down there. Um, your melee attacks create continuous pulling vortex. I like that too. I like that too. Our difficulty's already gone up, so we're taking a while on this stage, but I'm figuring this guy out, so don't judge me too harshly for taking a while. So far... I, this character is my goat. I love him. Loaf of Bread's kind of decent. A uh, little bit of healing while we're doing the teleporter event is never a bad thing. I think later in the game it gets a little less worth, worth um, it's, it's worth a little less, but movement speed, we can always take more movement speed, thank you, especially as a melee character. Um, Warp Deco, I really don't want, so I'm going to try and remove that before we leave. Boom. Oh my god, with the movement speed, this is so good, man. No one told me this character was so awesome. No! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was close. <laughs> Didn't realize I'd travel quite that far. Crowbar seems really good. All the focus crystal was probably the better choice there. My bad. That electric boomerang seems good. And I think we got one more chest somewhere in the middle over here, didn't we? I thought I saw one near the middle. Maybe not. Right, so we'll quickly go and just scrap the um, warp decker. Um, warp decker. I'm also going to scrap that as well. It's good, but it's it, it needs stacking to be good, and there isn't multiple of them here, so. Right. I love the fact that I can hold two charges in my dash as well. Having some good movement on a uh, melee character just feels right. We got a turret here we can grab as well. I'll grab that for the boss fight. Right. Boss, which which one are you? Not the best boss in the world for us, but we do have some good abilities for taking you out. Oh my god, that's not the best one though.
I might die to this if I'm not careful. I'm just gonna have to, yeah, I'm just gonna have to tank it and hope for the best. Luckily, it went okay. Hey, we got um, the horse hoof there. Increased movement speed, sprint speed, and jump height. Oh, that's amazing. That's like a random thing you can get. And we got the new squid polyp. It's been reworked in the mod that I've got. Now it uh, summons a turret on heavy damage rather than regularly. If I, if I just go back and take a look at that, actually. Um, squid chance on taking damage to spawn squid turret. It distracts enemies. Limit of three. It's, it's much different than how it normally is. Very, very nice, actually. Can I, like, do this? Ah, oh, I was hoping I could, like, land on them. Although that did seem to hurt one of the enemies down there, so... Oh, man. This character. I mean, I do have some insanely good items right now. The movement speed I've got is, like, absolutely ludicrous for this early on. And the, uh, the attack speed I've got is also very good. But this character's my jam. I can see myself playing a lot of this guy. Although I don't know how I'm going to fare against the, uh, the boss. We'll see. Like, once we get down to the very last boss, if we make it there. Oh, man. <laughs> this guy's awesome. I love him. He just feels so, like, powerful and, and, I don't know, the raw power within. To the next stage. Right, we, we did take a while. Ten minutes on stage one is kind of abysmal, to be honest. I really want to be out of the first stage by, like, six or seven at the latest. Maybe even, yeah, five or six. But... It's not going too bad so far. I'm going to try and grab that. Oh my god, I'm stupid. No! There you go, I got it. Good, good, good. And there's our squiddies. Oh, dude, our squid turrets combine into one squid turret. I've got I've got a mod that melds um, turrets and uh, drones into one. And the squid turret also melds, which is interesting. I didn't think it would. And it also teleports near us, which is kind of cool. Razor wire isn't very good. Um, what we got here? Honestly, Berserker's pauldron. Just keep going for it. I know I just got the squid turret and it looked pretty cool, but we're going move speed and attack speed all the way right now. You stay out of this, you. Oh my god. I'm just speeding around. Penny, roll of pennies isn't amazing for us. I really like that right-click ability when you charge it, actually. When you charge it, it's a lot better. Does that uh, dash have further distance when we have higher movement speed or something? Melee and home projectiles attack to get an equal chance to fire a weak projectile. It's kind of nice. A turret spawned in a terrible spot, apparently. Ooh, yes, please. That's 94. That just insta-killed an elite. Oh my god. Reroll an interactable into a different object. Ooh, that's so good. So we could reroll something into like a scrapper or like reroll something into a chest. So for example, um, let's find something that's going to be worthwhile to do this on. <laughs> I'm just going to go around slamming everyone. This attack's too good. Whoa, he's sliding like crazy. Yeah, I can do it on chests. There you go. Focus crystal. Oh my god. We're getting the right stuff right now. With this movement speed as well, it's so easy to like maneuver around and slam into enemies. Dude, this is like a god run as this guy right now. I hope we don't, like, mess this up super early on. <laughs> Double crowbars as well. We almost one-shotting basic enemies right now. Slash 
slam attack into swing attack. Slam attack, slam attack. Repulsion armor plate again, really good. So I can, can I, oh, I can't, unfortunately I can't re-roll these. I was hoping I'd be able to re-roll them. Honestly, Shrine of the Mountain, I am not risking right now. This run is so good, I don't want to make a stupid mistake. That, what is that? That's Nail Bomb. So I could re-roll that, and it re-rolls into a different 3D printer. Another red item. 1.5% extra damage um, off of our HP. That's really good. We've only got 1,000 HP already, so that's going to stack up pretty crazily. Dude, this I, this, this run is just, just god tier. Look at the slams, man. Look at the slams. Razor wire again. You know what I'm getting more of. What does even multiple of these even do? It's just extra time, right? Yeah, plus two second per stack. Oh, max cap of three. Wait, no, it's, ca it's the cap on the buff. Um, frenzy for six seconds, increasing your movement speed, um, and attacks will be 15%, max cap of three. Okay, dude, th we've got a really high cap of that now. Yeah. We have some insane stats going on right now. Hit you with that. Hit all you with that. We just need some more, like, healing now for safety. Right, we've got enough speed to zoom around and check for some more chests here. Safety blanket. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, extra iframes and one-shot protection seems good to me. And crit chance and crit scan as money is pretty good too. Definitely think you gain more distance because of the movement speed on that. Okay, I need to get on top of you to do good damage. Boom. There you go. I think I can hold two of my blast ability here. Beautiful stuff. Leeching seed, there's our damage. 2% of our damage dealt is healed. There, uh, there's our healing. I, I said there's our damage. I meant there's our healing. Things are looking very good for us right now. I'm going to use it once per thing, though. It's the only thing with this reroll. There's a scrapper there. Um, scrap ourselves that. That. Um... I'm going to do the steady mug as well, to be honest. I don't think that's really helping that much. And then in my uh, lunar area, the new altar, whatever the new person is, I can try and trade that for a green item that might be better. But so far, this run is uh, stacking up to be pretty amazing. So can I now re-roll the scrapper into something else now I've finished with it? No, I can't. Okay. Okay, we are ready to go. Make sure to take the blue portal. There you go. Whoa, we are. That's so satisfying, man. We've got 900 HP, so we're doing an extra 97 damage on every hit right now, which is kind of wild. I wonder if that 97 damage gets like the crowbar burners for an extra 90% on top of that. I'm really not sure. Um, anything here we want? 1% of the enemy's current health as a bonus on hit. You cannot critically strike. Nah, we've already got some stuff that works off the back of crit, so we don't want to do that. On level up, gain a free purchase. Oh, no, thank you. Every 30 seconds. Eh. Nah, I'm not going to take any of those. Right, what we got going on here? Shipping request form for a bunch of... We get two shipping request forms. Increase the rarity chance. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, you know. Two shipping request forms seems decent. I always get rid of them later. Right. 
Let's go. I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is like hard bosses. The really hard bosses seem like they're going to be really hard. We need to take another uh, another photo of this guy. I'm just getting him ready for the thumbnail in case I want to use him. I've just got to yeah wait for the healing to disappear. There you go. There you go, look at that. I can crop him out and do some stuff with it. Thumbnail style. Missed that completely. My bad. Yeah, why can I hold two charges of that now? I mean, I like it. The fact that I can hold two charges of it is kind of amazing. I can hold two charges of everything. Is that just normal for this guy? Or have I got something that's making me amazing? That does some good damage as well when I do that. There you go. Right, can we get some ground-related enemies that I can easily kill, please? Boy. Get destroyed. Honestly, knowing our luck, this is this uh, large chest that we spawned here is going to give us another legendary, so just get ready for that. Right, smack, 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 smack. The speed at which we can smack is crazy. Wait, that is that a big chest? No, it's just a normal chest that's on its side. Old War Stealth Kit. Yeah, to be fair, that's not too bad for us, actually. I, don't, I, I might scrap it later, but for right now, it's okay. Right, let's go around up top here and see what we can find. There's our ship and request thing. What do we get? Honestly, I'm actually pretty happy for some healing here. That's pretty good. 5% of maximum HP there. We like it. Get slammed! Oh my god, I one-shot him! Oh, that's so satisfying. That's so satisfying. I want to try reroll a chest, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> okay, no. We don't care for that. I don't want to summon enemies. It's a little hard to hit that ability when we fire the spikes. That's pretty good too, I like that. Got an adaptive chest here as well. It does recharge it pretty quick. I could I could always fire them one at a time. And I could always do that as well. That's <laughs> pretty valid. See, the, the only thing is right now, my dash ability isn't the best for, like, attacking air enemies because I go so goddamn far. Oh, well, that enemy's dead. I just, like, froze it in time. Okay. Let's give this a go. Don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Start of each stage, just cover one essence. That's pretty good. We're a little late for that, but essences can give us, like, extra attack speed, movement speed, damage, stuff like that. It's all good. Scrapper back here. Uh, anything we want to scrap right now? I don't think so, to be honest. I could scrap some of my greens, to be fair. The shipping request form is kind of like, meh. Another adaptive chest. We'll get going after this. Sticky bomb I will scrap. Getting base damage for every 1% missing HP. That's, that's a scrap, that, isn't it? Um, I'll get rid of the wall stealth kit as well, just so we have something. Then what was the other thing? I can't remember. What was it? What was it? 
Items. Inventory. What the hell did we just pick up? Okay, Seal of the Heretic. There you go. Yeah, we're not going to be, hopefully, missing too much HP, so that doesn't seem super helpful. Roll of Pennies is another trash one. Scrap that as well. And we got him. Oh my god, the amount of damage, man. What we get here? Oh no, I definitely want the leg. I definitely want the leg. You can only have one of those at a time, which is kind of the downside of them by the looks of it. Anchor. Anchor's really not good for us either. Another very scrappable item. Alright, take care of this guy. Not that I need the money right now, but there you go. We got another one of these items, dude. We're getting loads of them, but like I said, you can only hold one at a time. And I think the one we've got is the one that I want right now. That worm seems to be having a hard time. I don't know what's going on with that worm. Maybe it's jealous of the big worm. Cool. And then we get ourselves that. Which I think I can also scrap, to be honest. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I'll quickly go and use this up here. Sprint speed, and I think that was another uh, focus crystal, to be honest. Which would be kind of amazing. Oh, no, it wasn't. What was it? Diary. Movement speed and armor. Yeah, okay, I like that. <laughs> Movement speed and armor works for me. Oh, the slam attack just... I need to be using it from higher up, though. I'm guessing it does more damage if you uh, fall on them. Right, we're out of here. Made our way through that stage reasonably quick. Probably missed a few chests here and there, but I think overall that stage went really well. There's our essence look. Critical strike, chance, or maximum HP. I'm going to go for maximum HP because we gain damage off of that. I'm also going to quickly take another look at our boy. Look at that beast. Oh my god, I love it. We spawned all the way at the bottom here, so let's take a look out here first. We've got to save up at this point for a, um, what's it called? Legendary chest, so let's try and do that. Legendary chest isn't here. We are on a flipped stage here, mirrored stage, so it's a little confusing as to where things are meant to be, but I think I can get, a, get the grips of it. There's the Grove Tender mini boss guy. Oh my god, he launched me. What what on earth was that about? <laughs> it's not there either. Teleporter's over here. I'm just gonna go and quickly tap that so that we know where it is. Okay, it's not here either, so we know that it's yeah, there you go, it's on the tree there, look. The Grove Tender died? Oh my god. <laughs> right, how much do we actually need for the uh, for the legendary chest? Probably a pretty penny, right? Probably a pretty penny. 4,600. Indeed, we do need a pretty penny. Okay. That's okay, though, as long as we know... Four thousand six hundred. That'll get easier as the stage progresses, obviously. 
I think we're doing a lot of the extra damage from that item that uh, gives us 1.5% of our HP, is it? It's like a ton of extra damage. Like, I don't know how much damage it is right now. Like 12 damage, is it? Something like that. Let's have a little look, see exactly how it works. Is it 11% or... I can't remember. 1.5% of your maximum health as bonus on hit. It's dealt 20,000 damage so far, so it's, it's clearly doing something right. Oh, there's a Vagrant here. Hello. Didn't mean to fall there. My bad. Yeah, Gup, you're not in the best of places for us right now. I'm gonna quickly dive down here while that explodes. There you go. Got you. Still nowhere near with the, the amount of money we need, though. I would like more of the money, please. The slam attack knows no bounds. Okay, the goops are actually giving us a good amount of money here. That went reasonably well. Is that gup dead or not? Sometimes I can't tell if anything's dead because that glitched worm that one time. Now I'm just like always curious. Gotta remember that if I stand still, I actually lose attack speed because of my legendary item. I, I gain defense, but I lose attack speed. I've got to be moving constantly to keep the attack speed buffer. Almost there. We're about a thousand off. Have we got any 3D printers on the stage? I've not really had a look for that. That's something I could pay a bit closer attention to. So far, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so far, it does not look like it. Got him. Take care of this bad guy. Yeah, you not charging your right click is just never the way to go, I don't think. We got so much defense as well that we're just not really taking damage very easily. We're a hundred off. Two or three kills. Right, we got enough, I think. Kill this guy just in case. Legendary, what might you be? Ooh. Future discoveries will come with plus one choice. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Right, so first of all, it actually had another one of these in it, which I want to see how these stack. Plus 50% per stack linear. So yeah, yeah, we want another one of those very badly. What does the other thing do? Yeah, shield, don't care. That, having another one of those seems pretty amazing. Right, we can start actually opening stuff now. Oh, we got a golden, uh, golden area, that's kind of nice. What does this do? Hits the deal 400% base damage or 25% stronger and stun. Ooh, yes. That seems amazing. Our hits do deal a lot of damage, so I'm reckoning that's going to be active quite a lot of the time. I'm reckoning that's going to do a quite the pretty number for us. Okay. Good amount of money. We can probably go and get that green multi shop down there now. I think that was just here, right? Somewhere? Or is, it, is that it there? Yeah, that's it there. Red Whip, which is some movement speed. That's the drone item. I'm going to go with Red Whip because movement speed is movement speed. It actually has some base movement speed on it now as well, thanks to the rebalance mod that I'm using, which is really nice. Personal shield generator we definitely don't care about. Rerolls into another... Unfortunately, I think we've kind of tapped this stage now. There's not much else spawning. It's a bit of a uh, sad one for getting extra chests and stuff, but 
Hey her. Oh, hello. I did not see you. The amount of movement speed I have makes that dash, like, impossible to read. Another active item there. I'm actually pretty happy with the active I've got now. Although, actually, am I? I'll, I'll have a look at another active. That's just Recycler. Try an item up into a different one. Okay, that's actually better, yeah. I'd rather have that right now. That's good. Okay, let's go for the boss here, shall we? We've got Ancient Wisp. Which I am wrecking right now. I'm reckoning this guy does a lot of damage though, so I've got to be a little careful about him hitting me. Yeah, there's a, lot, there's a lot of fire on the ground here. There yeah, we got him. And we got Little Disciple, which is pretty good. And we've got a Gup as well, if we want some more money to work with. Like I said, I don't much know how much more there is for us to buy on the stage, to be honest. But I'll have a look around. Once we kill this Gup. Taking care of him pretty quickly, to be fair. Right, quickly do a scoot round the stage to find some extra chests. Don't even know what just happened there. I, say, I thought I remember there being a chest up here. The ignition tank is actually pretty decent. We've seen the power that can unfold. And then how much longer we got? 80%. Okay, not much longer. Let's get gone, shall we? Oh, one more chest down here. It's a large one as well. Legendary. Let's go. Ah. Shackles is really good. Lowering attack speed on enemies. Gasoline, really good with the ignition tank we just got. Out of here, let's go. I think we're about ready for the boss, to be honest. But one more stage before the boss. Let's see how we go. This has been an absolutely ludicrous run. We did get the uh, hatchery again. A pretty hard stage because of the verticality, but a fun one. Got a grandparent up there. Can we just hover up and un over there? Teleporters over here. Let's go and uh, touch that now. Wherever it is. There it is. Okay, cool. Got the teleporter marked. This guy's not too bad at all. I know that this guy can do really big damage if he hits you with certain attacks, though, so I've got to be somewhat careful. What's this? Killing enemies increases armor. Very, very nice. Tri tip dagger. Bison. I actually really like bison right now. Which is something you thought you'd never hear anyone say if you play this game a lot. So we've got such high movement speed, we're firing up off a lot of these disciple things as well. Damn, that's so much money. Uh, is that a magma worm? Yes, it is. I can deal with you. You're not dead yet? Seriously? Okay, no, you are dead. You are dead. Ba -da -da. You are dead. Nail bomb doesn't do that much for us. Movement speed, damage, movement speed. What? Oh, you're yeah, the cloud elite. Okay. 
kind of a pain in the ass elite to be honest for that enemy. Lots of health. Cautious slug works for us. Bundle of fireworks, not the best. Right, I think we're about ready to go here. Mustache, not so good either. Two more chests. Let's try and get these last two chests first. Oh, hello. You you wrecked me last time, so I want my revenge. And I got it. Golden gun. Very, very nice for us. A lot of bonus damage there. One last chest over here. I think one last chest at least. Let's just quickly... Take a little jump up here and see what it shows us. Yeah. There you go, last chest. Hey, brass knuckles again, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Don't know what boss we're going to end up getting here, but... We've got a grandparent that we just fought, and we also got uh, one of those fellas. I see, like I said, I can never remember what this guy does, but I remember it hurts. Kind of fell then. Right, Impervalor's the other one. Where's the Impervalor? There he is. Honestly, this guy's bleed could be really bad for us too, so let's be a little wary of that. Gone. That seems decent. Oh my god. Hey, another chest that I missed. Sticky bomb. Bunch of stuff we don't really care about, but unfortunately, no scrapper for us here, so not that I know of at least. Oh my god, there's so many extra chests up here. How did I miss all these? It's another focus crystal, baby. And more attack speed. Dude, I missed out on some bangers over here. Not quite enough for another chest. There you go, that's enough. Nope. Oh, I got my shipping request form as well. I didn't even realize that was up here. Topaz brooch or question mark random. Oh, yes, baby. Good stuff. Right, we are aware. Right, I'm pretty sure I have a mod that makes me spawn really close to the Mithrix fight rather than having to run the whole way there. So just be ready for that. Oh, no, no. I don't. Okay, I did have one that I that like that, but... Must have been one of the bugged ones that I removed. I had a few bugs earlier. But we've got enough movement speed that it's not an issue. I'm just going to go. Right. I want to go straight to the area with the... Um, with the exchange area so I can get rid of some of these items I have. I think it's this area over here or that one. One of the two. Yes, yeah, this one. Okay. Cool. Let me just see what items we've got going on here. Three items. I think that's something to do with that HP being low. I don't care for that right now. One red item for a white item. Uh, why? <laughs> Excuse me? Why? Okay, so all of these are kind of trash. There is this as well. What's that? Alright, this is just the one that pushes us away. It's not so bad. We've only got to do, I think, three of these before it opens, or two. There's also another green item over here. Let me check what that is. Um, yes, considering that's basically free for us. And to be fair, the, the ceremonial dagger is also basically free for us, too. 
Although that's when we kill enemies, right? I'll try it. I'll go for it. I can re-roll it, actually. Let's try and re-roll it and see if we get anything better. Eh. That doesn't seem super useful, but there you go. I'm hoping we didn't lose any really good greens there. I don't really pay attention to what we lost, but I don't think there's any that, make, that are going to ruin our build if we lose them. Ooh, a redeemed pearl. Nice. Okay. Stop trying to push me away. I just want to stay close. Hello, good guys. How are you doing? The fire that these guys put down is pretty brutal. Let's be careful of that. And we're 90% done. Get another pearl? Oh no, this is an item this time. That's pretty good. We just got a lot of extra HP from that, I think. And then this is this the other one? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's the last one we gotta do, I think. Shan't be too hard. Oh my god, these guys are annoying as all hell. Get out of here. Let me do my little spire thing and get on with it. I'm basically already dead. I like the way you get an item from these now. I don't think you used to. I don't know if that's vanilla or not, but I like it. Can I remember source 10% shield? We got a lot of shield that I don't particularly care for right now. Yeah, that, there's the portal thing, look. Right, let's let's do this. We don't I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know how our fight's gonna be here, but we'll give it a, our best shot. And we shall see. We are gonna have to get up in this guy's face, which scares me. We are doing a hell of a lot of damage to him, I will say. And we do have some ranged attacks. Unfortunately, we don't have an active item that deals damage. Active items that deal damage are real good in this fight. Okay. Just jump up in the air for this. Okay, that was a big hit. Phase one's going okay. It's reasonably easy to avoid, but one big hit could end us, so I've got to be careful. He's doing his Super Saiyan jump again. The fact that I can just move at that speed around him now is insane. Right, first phase is done-ish. There you go. First phase is done. Second phase is just when we got to fight the enemies right. Should be easy. I would imagine. I absolutely adore this character so much so it's, it's actually insane. Boom. I love with their crowbar how much damage we can do with that ability as well. Okay. Are we good? Are we done? No, we've got a few of these guys left. Look at our movement speed, it's so insane. Take care of this guy first before he shoots him in the back. Second phase, not so bad. I, te I technically could just run around the stage and let my disciple thing kill him, but that's just boring. No one wants to see that. What are these spires here? I don't, I don't like that. 
Also, the pizza attack could easily kill me. I'm really bad at the pizza attack. The one where you just like the, the slices that you have to dodge through. I'm really bad at that one. This one, this one. I'm really, really bad at this attack. So forgive me if I mess this up. I don't know the best way to do it. I guess you got to move with it, but I'm really bad at that. Ah, the hammer attack. I've got enough movement speed to get out of the way even when I see it coming, so... The, the first few phases are kind of super easy when you have high move speed, to be honest. He has some crazy attacks he can do, but for the most part, it's like fairly easy to get out of the way of them. He's doing his jump again. Okay, last phase. This is where he steals our items. This is where thing, things get hard. I don't really... I'm not very good at this phase, so we'll see if I live. <laughs> I'm not very good at this phase, is all I'm saying. But I kind of know how to do it now, at least. My movement speed. Oh, I do keep some of my movement speed, though. Basically, from what I understand, I've just got to keep moving in one direction. And then take a few items off of him. Keep moving. And then do it again. And eventually he gives you all your items back and you're good to go. Okay, we want to be moving this way now. Ow, that hurt. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm trying to take it as slow as I can here. Got a lot of our items back already. He's slamming down now. I think he's I think he's just hurting himself now for the most part. We got a lot of our items back at this point. Just keep it moving, keep it moving. There you go, he's basically dead now. We got him, baby! We got him, we got him. Okay, nice one. That is an Eclipse level done, and as one of the new characters. I mean, look at the speed. This is silly. It is silly. And then we just gotta survive this last little bit here. Which isn't too hard. Void Reaver, oh hello. Repulsion plate there, nice. Void Reavers can be a little horrible in this part, so let's be careful. The damage they do is nothing to turn your nose apart. But a Mithrix victory is very good, especially in under an hour as well. I'm, I'm happy with that. But one of the problems I used to have with going to Mithrix is just how long it took, but it doesn't seem too hard. Oh, dude, I've got to charge this. I didn't realize. I'm stupid. You can tell I don't fight Mithrix very often. With this movement speed, though, we can just kind of, you know, kind of just keep doing this. Periodically doing that on occasion. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ah, no, that's not good. Do, do, do. I just got to say, don't kill me now. That would be embarrassing. We're done, baby. We are done. Oh, there you go. We're in. It's off. There you go. A victory on Eclipse mode. First Eclipse level beaten. And yeah, that was 
that that was an absolutely insane run from the get-go we got like our first stage was just so stacked and like not just stacked it was stacked specifically for our character so so much um and then yeah we just got a lot of other good stuff that really worked for this character i mean this character seems really really fun definitely my favorite out of this and the seeker so far i'm gonna have to play um chef a little bit more and see how i feel about them but that might be the next episode or maybe we'll play one of the modded characters you'll have to let me know what you guys want to see either way i hope you guys did enjoy i hope you guys did enjoy and yeah i will see you guys in the next one